Hello everyone, so this is a game that I developed for the Mini LD59 game competition. Uh, it's called Swap Troid. It's my take on a classic platformer game, classic 8-bit platformer. And the theme of this Mini LD was to, it was called Swap Shop, and you were given this base sprite sheet right here. And the goal was just to create a simple game using this sprite sheet. Then after you finish completing the game, you could get another sprite sheet and swap in another sprite sheet so you get a totally new looking game after you're done. So uh, I made my game uh, just a simple platformer and I made it so that every five seconds it will swap in a new sprite sheet, which I think is pretty neat. I developed this game in Construct 2. I've never developed a game in Construct 2 before. I've developed games in other uh, 2D uh, engines before, such as Stencil, and I played a little bit around with the Unity 2D stuff, but my first time using Construct 2, there is a free version of Construct 2 uh, available, but it does have quite a few limitations. Uh, which I will show in a little bit, but uh, you can still do quite a bit as you can see right here with the free trial version of Construct 2. Uh, in this game you can see you have a health bar or, or energy uh, at the top where it says EN30 and then you'll see items 2 out of 4. So it's a really simple game so far. You can just run and shoot and collect the four different items then after you've collected the four items that's the end of the game for now so uh, if you lose all of your energy then of course uh, that'll be game over and it will reset you to the beginning of the level and you can see it's kind of a I don't know classic platformer type game where you go into all these different rooms and just find the little items. Unfortunately, there aren't any power-ups or anything right now. If I was to develop this further, I would add, like to add things like, I don't know, like an ice beam or power-up charges and missiles and things like that. But uh, right now, it's just fairly simple. I uh, developed this in a few weeks, so I wasn't too involved or anything. But uh, as you can see here, just going down the shaft, and yeah, if you touch the enemies, you'll lose five points of life. And if you lose all your life, then that's the end of the game. And here we are at the very last item. So collect that, and thanks for playing. So that's basically the game right there. Uh, Construct 2 does have a lot of tutorials which, on their website, which I looked at. They have a beginner's tutorial which teaches you how to create a top-down view looking game and then, then they have a platformer tutorial which teaches you the details of creating a platformer. As I mentioned earlier the free version of Construct 2 is very limited but there is a personal license which you can get for $130 and that will open up more features but with the free version you can still make an HTML5 game, a desktop game and things like that. Uh, there was also a business license for $430, so if you make $5,000 in sales, they do require that you buy the business license. So here's the Construct 2 developer interface. Uh, first of all, on the right side under the projects, you can see you have the layout. So basically I have three different layouts. These are just kind of like screens of your game, the title screen, the ending screen, and then the main game screen and you can like uh, zoom in and out of each of these. So here you can see the entire level of the game and you can move things around. And each of these rooms on here is a tiled map and it does have support for directly importing TMX maps using the tile map object right there and then you can associate a sprite sheet with that it is a little bit tricky getting the swapping to work if you click right here on event sheet 
then you can see all of the game logic. So basically, you come over here on the left side and you define different conditions and if statements and things like that. Then whenever one of those conditions is true, then it executes everything in the second column. So basically, I had to base 64 and code all the sprite sheets so they are already loaded into the game because uh, that's the only way that a tile map can access uh, image data. So basically it just says every five seconds it switches over to the next one and it keeps these constant values at the top for the current sprite sheet, how many items you've collected and the total number of maps and things like that. So yeah, basically I just have uh, sprite sheets, all of them preloaded in. I have the different hero sprites over here to find. Uh, you should be able to click on any of these and you can see the animation data for all of these. And you can go over here and, and zoom in on any of these different hero sprites like that. So these are all, all the sprites that I got from the, the swap shop. So uh, you can use this little editor to go in and you can set different animations like running and idling and things like that. So it's a pretty nice interface, but my only complaint is in the free version, they only limit you to 100 events. So you can quickly run through, like there's 91 right there. So I pretty much can't do anything else to this game. So yeah. Construct 2 is pretty neat. If you're starting out learning how to develop games, I definitely recommend either Construct 2 or Stencil or uh, an easy engine like this starting out. So uh, that's my game for the Mini LD59. I appreciate everyone for watching. Thank you.